All right, so in this video, I'll be going over an underused cheap guest post strategy. Man, it's really echoey in here. I'm just realizing it's the front room. But regardless, let me go over what this video is not. So this isn't me going over some spammy link tactics and it's not some generic advice you've seen anywhere, you've seen everywhere else. And on top of that, at the end of this video, I'll be announcing the winner of the API key of the Easy SEO extension. So if you haven't downloaded this, this is a free easy free SEO extension. However, the keyword king part is not free if you want to use it to its full extent. And also one last announcement. I've been getting booked a lot in terms of calls and um, obviously I just don't have time to go through um, through every call with everyone. So um, I basically made a new service. So instead of me going over um, your website one on one, you can just go for a website audit and plan. So this basically I'll be telling you what issues are, if there are any with your website, along with a plan of action, along with the opportunities um, that I found. So you don't need to be on a call with me. Um, it'll take about a week, maybe less for me to do. And yeah, you can just use this instead. Um, I'll leave this in the comments below. So, and on top of that, if you're a business owner, if you want that done for you SEO now, you can apply here. Um, there's no guarantee that we'll work together, but there is a chance. And uh, that's pretty much it. So let's get straight into this video. So what am I talking about here? I'm talking about digital marketplaces. So things like legit people per hour, Upwork, freelancer, etc. So for example, if you take a look at uh, legit, so if I've just typed in technology guest post and you're going to see a list of websites or services, I should say, list in their technology blog. And all you're going to do is basically message them, send them a message and basically ask them what the URL is. And as you can see here, it says DR77, 200K traffic, permanent do follow link. So that sounds pretty amazing. And there's only nine reviews. So I'm assuming um, not a lot of people have used this service. So it looks pretty good. And you're going to test it out. Um, the URL, I mean, before you purchase. So let's say you've got the URL. All you're going to do is throw into SEMrush and you're going to vet the link. So how do you do that? What does that look like here? The way you vet a site is first of all, making sure at least it gets 1000 visitors a month, ideally a minimum of 10K, that's ideal. So the keywords they rank for, it can't be a bunch of gibberish. So what people, some people will do, they'll rank for keywords like, they'll be completely random and it's getting search volume. And they'll just rank for these types of keyword and say, hey, look, my site's getting so much traffic, it's obviously valuable. So just keep that in mind, some people like to do that. Avoid link forms, so you're basically going to check their post. So let's say this site here, we go on their blog, and you're just going to go through and check their post. You don't have to read it word for word, but you're going to take a look at their links. And that's where the easy SEO extension comes in handy, because it'll highlight the links where they are on the page. But regardless, you're going to look at the links and as you can see, they uh, get highlighted in yellow and we can't see any yellow links in the content. So that's a good sign. So they're publishing content um, for the sake of publishing content and not for the sake of um, guest posting. So let's see another post here. Do we see any links in the content? No, we don't. So that's a good sign. So, but the issue with this site, it's not getting a minimum of a thousand views. However, I would say it's okay because it's not a link form. It's actually a real website and not all real websites get a bunch of traffic. Some just get trickles. So it will still be a valuable link. And if we go to top organic keywords, so as you can see, row granite uh, quartz worktop, um, 20 millimeters or 30 millimeters quartz. So they're going for real keywords here. So this would qualify um, depending on the price. I would guess post on it. Um, but again, you want that 1000 minimum threshold. And I'm speaking quieter than usual because again, it's echoey in here. <laughs> Next up, 
the site must be multiple years old. And the reason why is because I've done guest posts in the past, for example, and one of the things I found that later on, I check about six months down the line, and for some reason that website is no longer working. So you wanna check the site's age. So I just Google website age checker. I just found this website here. You can check it out. It doesn't really matter which one. And it says eight years, nine months, and 28 days old. So that's a really old site. So if I were to pay good money for this guest post on this site, I'd be confident that it'll be here a year, two years, five years um, from now. And that's essentially how you're going to vet a site. Now here are some common pitfalls. So a lot of people to pay too much attention to DA or DR, um, depending on whichever metric you use. So DA, Domain Authority, is a MOZ metric and DR is a metric created by Ahrefs. But to basically do the same thing, I personally use DA. And, you sit, and a lot of people pay attention to that, which you should pay attention to it. But at the same time, don't think of this as the all, as it encompasses everything. So if you get a high DA website, like 80, but it's getting like 50 visitors a month, well, guess what? I'm assuming they've gone on somewhere like Fiverr.com and hired someone to increase their domain authority. So you want to make sure it's good DA and good traffic at the same time. So this website is DA17. Um, in terms of traffic, it's not much. However, if I looked at the posts themselves, they look real, they look genuine, and this looks like a genuine website. So another thing is not negotiating. So they'll shoot you over a price. You want to negotiate down. So give them a pretty low price. And then when they say, no, no, I don't want that. That's when you can, okay, that's too low for them. Then just increase up and find something that you're both comfortable with. So some people ask me, okay, what's a good price for a guest post? Well, again, it all depends, like the classic SEO answer, which it really does all depend. So I've gotten links, but I've paid about $40 to go on a site with 600,000 visitors a month with a domain authority of 40, but that is very, very uncommon. You're not going to usually get something like that. Usually, if you're paying about $20 for 1,000 searches a month, in terms of organic traffic and it's a good website it checks out that's quite a cheap backlink as well usually you'd be paying something like 30 40 dollars for something like that um but that's just the way it is everyone knows the value of the backlink thanks to seos just spamming the hell out of people so again the price it all depends and another problem is getting mentioned on pbns so that's why i mentioned you need to check their post and when you do that, that's how you avoid getting on a PBN. Because I can tell something's a PBN, which if you don't know, is stands for private blog network. People just set up a website. It's typically an expired domain that they sign up just for the sake of adding links. And the way you do that is, again, is you need to check the content of the actual website itself. So make sure you're not getting on a PBN. And that's essentially it. And if you go on someone like Upwork, you can post a job. It's very simple. Don't be intimidated by this. It's very simple and very straightforward. Just sign up and all you're going to do is click post a job. So you'll be after you signed up, signed up, Upwork, the Upwork, the dashboard will look like this. Post a job and essentially you can do something along these lines. So I'm looking for backlinks on home improvement websites only. So the website requirements must be receiving traffic at least 10k according to SEMrush. Please don't send sites that don't meet the requirements or you're just going to spam because a lot of people do this, they'll just send you with their websites anyways without checking. So make sure they know that. So no PBNs, real websites only. So home improvement website, so basically mention your niche. So it must be re realistically priced for a guest post. I don't care about DA, only traffic. So you let them know that you want a good price. You, you're not an idiot. You're not just going to pay anything like some people do. And please send the links to the websites and not a spreadsheet. Because a lot of the time, people are just lazy. They'll just send you a spreadsheet that say, oh, just check these out. You don't want that. You want them to send them the actual, you want to be sent the actual URL of the website. And the title, I like to um, put in all in bold, all in capitals, instant pay, because that usually gets people's attention. And then look for backlinks on a particular niche site. And that's essentially it. Very simple and very, very straightforward. Now, you probably already saw it, but the winner is how to so thanks for commenting on my videos 
and I'm gonna be honest here all you're doing is basically just copying the title and commenting it in the um, in the comment section which it's basically it looks like spam so please don't do that however I didn't mention it so I'm going to be fair so all you need to do is just comment your email down below and I'll send you the um, API key and that's essentially it thanks for watching and again if you're interested in taking your SEO to the next level and I've actually reasonably priced both these plans whether that's the website audit and, and plan or the consultation they're very well uh, priced um, I should really increase them because again lots of people are messaging me so I'd highly recommend um, basically going for one of these and I can pretty much guarantee you I'll take you to a different level when it comes to SEO and that's pretty much it thanks for watching and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.